Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm the Mind Runner. I'm so excited about the today's reading. Today we're going to see what's going to be your next significant, important, maybe long-term, maybe spiritual relationship. So next major relationship. All right, I want to just cleanse the energy with with sound a bit. So there's going to be three loud sounds if you're wearing headphones. Please be careful about your ears. Maybe make the volume lower. So let's do it. Okay. So let's start. Let's choose your option. Um, this is my new deck, Star Codes Astro Oracle. A really cool, beautiful deck. So I took these cards. It's not all the deck because there's like a plenty of there's houses, zodiacs, planets, aspects. I believe like everything. So I took only these zodiacs and planets. So we're gonna choose your options. We're gonna have three cards three options today so let's see so whether you see a zodiac sign which is your sun sign or your ascendant or your moon sign what whatever is prominent in your birth chart or it's a prominent planet so this option will be for you okay for number one you can also choose your option just listen to your intuition so there's no need to be logical here you can meditate a bit you can pause the video now and choose the card which you like the most otherwise we're gonna have a look what we have here okay Aquarius <laughs> my Aquarius sign for number one here we have this keyword collaborate okay for pile number two, we're going to have Capricorn, Achieve. Look at this beautiful deck. I mean, I got it just for this graphics. I mean, it's like... You can make a tattoo out of this painting, honestly. Or a drawing, rather. Okay, option number three, it's Taurus. So we have three zodiac signs here. Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. You don't have to be just, uh, you know, Sun in Taurus or Capricorn or Aquarius. It can be different combinations. So maybe something connected to planets. Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. And Venus is the ruler of Taurus. Maybe you can choose planet. Okay, so let's start. I will also use three decks. I'm not sure for which pile I will use which deck this is dreams of gaia tarot okay let's do it this way golden black cat tarot will be for number one the mystical moments will be for number two and dreams of gaia for number three so yes let's start number one here's your deck All right, dear pile number one. Let's see. Okay, so what's your person gonna be like? Hmm. Okay, I'll keep the surprise yet. How will you meet? Let's just take all of the cards and after read the story as a whole your first impression of them how they will affect you what kind of relationship will it be some obstacles the outcome 
how will this relationship ultimately affect you and what will you learn and also advice of course for you and i will also add many other cards from different decks okay seven of pentacles long time waiting here the bottom of the deck energy okay so you guys will be aquarius most probably or you just drawn to this sign or to this picture here so this is a very free-spirited free-minded open-minded energy aimed on social interactions Aquarius to understand pretty well Aquarius vibe it's like this you know like cyberpunk world like for example movie Equilibrium with Christian Bale if, if someone remembers I love that movie this post-apocalyptic time it's like 11th house in the Aquarius it's something what happens after Capricorn which is uh, MC which is like the the pinnacle of our success what happens after we reach our goals this is the Aquarius energy so what are they like this person yeah they're very smart <laughs> page so this is a page of swords uh maybe they will be younger actually than you so there i see that they're very intellectual the swords very talkative very logical so yes yeah, since they are the page like the youngest court card they might be younger than you actually or you might meet them when they will be a student or studying so it doesn't matter what kind of age they're super curious so you will see that they're they might also be a bit like suspicious about everything like skeptical about everything like this scientific attitude towards everything let's see let's just get more cards on what they are like Okay, Cancer, Immerse. Okay, they're also very, despite being very intellectual, they're rather intellectual here, but still they're very caring soul. So they're able to take care of people. So I, I think mm, they're just, they look a bit guarded from the beginning, but after you you know why, because they're so caring and so warm and open that they're afraid of letting in the wrong people. Okay yeah wow north node future yeah talking about uh, intelligence intellectuality maybe their profession actually actually this guy it's maybe their profession is connected this page of swords i mean something connected with future maybe they're a student or uh, like forever student it's like their uh, life position but they might be uh, a teacher a professor in university someone connected with future a scientist for example hmm north node future cancer cancer is a family sign so it's like the fourth house energy so it's like a person who looks very uh like really but you guys are aquarius so this is like futuristic energy for both of you maybe you have actually the very similar views of the future aquarius is not really about the planning future like oh i'm planning to buy this apartment have a family in five years or something no it's about like how do we see the future of all of us of um, our planet all of us okay some more information what are they like this person libra i mean they don't have to be all the signs of course it's just the traits the key key points we're taking Okay, and mutable. And again, North Node. Okay, North Node again. So there is something about future, like they're very driven by, by their goals. So it's a person rather of uh, doing the career or leaving their trace in the history of mankind rather than having stable house, family. So they're more an idealistic type than a consumeristic type of a human being libra with consideration fairness and harmony okay very fair so it's a person who knows how to reach the compromise they are really they have really powerful communicative skills yes and mutable surrender fluidity and welcoming change okay and very active I, I actually i feel like there's this gemini vibe i know that you're guys aquarius so gemini would be in trin you have you would have suns in trin 
in your Sinistry. So yeah, it's a pretty good combination. Okay, let's use this symbol on deck. What are they like? We need more information on that. Okay, and here's the Aries sign, Mars. Um, a warrior, very passionate. I, I really feel some young age here. So they will be like younger than you or they have this vibe forever young. A warrior. So they can be also like someone, hmm, <laughs> you know, like fitness influencer. Yeah, because this card is about masculinity, about, about active attitude, like go-getter, individualistic also like fit, fitness influencer definitely <laughs> something like that okay let's see. what else what else what are they like sovereignty exactly individualism very independent it's like a person maybe they're self-employed like they have their own business i feel this there's this vibe there that they're young but very wise wisdom wisdom here and very active so they are like about action but i don't feel any energy of them being like an opinionated person it's someone who always actually studies though they have a lot to teach to other people okay cool so i hope we have enough information about this person let's see we're gonna we're gonna add some more details of course further on how will you meet our second question it's here how will you meet page of pentacles all right so this can be related to work for example maybe you can you will try to you're sending your cv somewhere and you're meeting this person and there's like something practical that's why i'm talking about job or something something practical practical beginnings practical attempt or they're like helping you with something or you're like helping them or this can be like a meeting of people who are neighbors for example colleagues yeah so i think there's like meeting uh with like certain help maybe you ask for a small help and you start talking so yeah there's like some practical like you know they help you with a carrying a uh, heavy box maybe Hmm. okay so it can be either job related or like everyday routine stuff related and it's like very like surprising meeting i feel like oh yeah <laughs> the lovers the lovers here surprising meeting yeah i mean it's like love love from first sight well love from first sight is like not oh yeah the, the tower really really it's like for you both guys it's like wow this is the person i was waiting for like standing here at the same shop with me or maybe you were like um in a shop like like some 10 cents or something they will be happy to help you and start conversation with you so yeah i feel like there's a vibe of some practical stuff here so this is how you meet okay your first impression of this person Whew, very well very active adrenaline dri driven i hear um i love how everything sounds in german ritter der stebe this is the knight of wands energy so as someone very passionate very young very like uh, uh, outspoken so hmm maybe there there will be some seducive vibe coming from them so they're like really going through life on crazy speed there's this vibe of this adrenaline this uh, like a bit of aggression but i see it like in a positive sense like you know it's like when you walk uh, calmly and someone is jogging by you and they they kind of run nearby and you feel this like <laughs> this you know breathing this this energy so it might be like they're just walking past by you and you feel this like a tornado of energy very passionate energetic person this is the first impression of course if we're talking about relationships since this is the your next relationship spread they will uh, seem like not serious for you very impulsive maybe as a as a fling uh, like someone for a passionate connection but not for a long time so this is the impression you will have how will they actually affect you this person okay nine of pentacles wow okay that's great uh it's as if they will help you believe in yourself yeah the fool the fool hmm. the tower okay yeah well nine of pentacles is like 
feeling successful. And maybe with this energy, they, they will actually help you feel about... I don't see that they change your energy somehow. They just under, underline maybe something you don't understand about yourself, like showing how uh, successful, how beautiful, um, how you have uh, everything together, like uh, everything is cool in your life. Yeah, and the fool, it's like... Huh air of freedom so they bring a very new energy into your stable life i think yeah but i really believe in this influence like this positive influence of your self-esteem with this person or like if this connection starts with some practical help they can like help you build this nine of pentacles so this is like a person who can like accidentally with they have so much energy like give you some cool advice or like help you out with something small which takes you to something big to success you see this this goal here it's like this aim for darts yeah you reached your goal you're a nine of pentacles hmm. or you guys are already in this energy so nothing can influence you better or worse you're just like so the empress and I, and I was holding an empress in my hands all this time when talking about yeah you're so self-sufficient you're so happy about everything you're so abundant okay so and this is what kind of relationship it will be okay the empress oh my god this like i hope my camera is like everything is this i'm just staring at my camera now <laughs> uh, i really hope i'm recording this okay my dear new microphone please don't let me down because everyone needs to hear this reading come on the empress so yeah they have this passionate this like a bit like one night standish energy first you have this impression but it starts from something practical like practical help so they kind of show you with what they can do that what they want to help you with what they want to do for you with actions and yeah i mean this is family relationship the empress the empress is the mother family definitely love relationship in which the feminine especially feels very loved nurtured and taken care of so this is a relationship of love care mutual adoration mutual help wow oh that's so cool let's see obstacles <laughs> queen of swords well uh, that's that can be like actually some person who is uh for some of you, like it's it's an ex of this person, or it's like someone who maybe you like mistakenly took for their partner, or someone who wants them, and like when you're starting to communicate. Okay, this is the outcome. Okay, two of, but you know this outcome is like takes on your decision. Also, this Queen of Swords can be you and your opinion on them. That's why, because yeah, you will have this Empress, this. Basically, a family love relationship. Like, one of the best cards for, like, the lovers. I think Empress would be even better than the lovers because the lovers is a, also very tricky energy. The same way you have mutual love, the same way you can have mutual resentments. Yeah, it's, like, about all the spectrum of emotions. But the Empress is about the, the most caring and warm and nurturing part any relationships so yeah this queen i will just add some more cards here this queen of uh, swords can be you and exactly your opinion being too strict too harsh maybe jumping to conclusions with them but maybe that, that was like super obvious maybe you're not jumping to conclusions but yeah that's like okay king of cups the chariot okay and the um oh god i want to say judgment not judgment yeah judging judging them um the justice it's like yeah they turn out to be a, they look like a charmer like don juan a bit for you and you're like yeah they're temporary here so they are they're just on the move i will be their next uh passionate thing and that's it so m most probably what's this obstacle is it you and your opinion four of pentacles or is it like another person something like oh yeah it's like yeah it's rather about third party definitely the world and the judgment it's like someone maybe they have on a distance it's someone they are divorcing with or they are not sure like are they divorcing them or not two of pentacles two of all oh, right so you see the outcome is still unclear because this is the relationship you're going to have with them but maybe uh you will not want to deal with a person who just freshly divorced and there's like presence of someone like this yeah so this uh, queen of uh, um, swords is definitely like someone else okay 
And what do they have with this queen of the moon? Okay. Hmm. The moon. Eight of... Well, the moon, it's something not really established. It's like an identified relationship, a situation, basically. Communication, I see here. Maybe some passionate interactions with them. And Queen of Cups. So I see that this lady is actually going to be in love with, with your next... I mean, I see it's, it's a woman here. And it's rather masculine who you're asking about. All right. Two of... So this choice like depends on you, rather, or on them oh all right hmm. or this outcome has like two options yet and page of cups well it's like the outcome of this relationship it's still the stale stalemate as if a lot of stuff needs to be yeah the emperor so first of all it's rather about your person of making the decisions not you who should influence or whatever seven of Swords. Okay, maybe this this person here actually will be concealing in the beginning. That's why you will perceive them as this like Knight of Wands. Not the most committed energy because there's like definitely someone or their ex or you know for someone it's like not the actual relationship but the moon. It's like they still didn't work out that previous karma, those lessons. Yeah. Or they like hurt that person and you know this hurting them here it's like still influence them them and scares them from new relationship yeah like something presence of a, of another person okay what should you know maybe about this like third party situation this thing tower the emperor okay and three of swords uh well yeah tower and three of swords so there's like i don't know for Okay, guys, maybe you are the th third party situation actually who, who broke their connection. I don't know. Is it is it true? No. Seven of Cups. Okay. Uh, I'm imagining. No. Maybe for someone. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, there's this um, Three of Swords energy, this heartbroken energy, which will. Like, I see that your person has been really losing control and they might need some time to either gain control on their life over their life or they're just repressing with the emperor certain sudden revelations they had like sad revelations about their relation so i see that there's like in this the relationship you can have with them is definitely great but as the outcome it's not yet set in stone Okay, so but what this outcome is depending on, uh, maybe on what, on whom, what should we know about this decision here? Two of, two of wands, ten of wands, okay, have more tension, the devil, oh my god, and ace of swords, five of cups, okay, but what should you do about this? I feel like already, um, guys, you can, you know, you if you're gonna be waiting, there's certain like also lesson maybe for you not to be super attached to anyone even if it's like the, the best anticipated relationship in your life um, it's like i like to quote law of attraction a lot and here it's like you don't need to know the outcome for sure uh, and you need to learn how to live in the with this feeling of unknown but still not to carry this burden like relax relax while not knowing definitely guys and you should what should you do what should you think you should be the magician magician is always about manifesting so whatever you have in your mind all your thoughts all your emotions all what you have in your heart this will pro be projected in the universe and will attract the same energy so if you project this five of cups so if you will be now worried like oh no there's third party like you should be sure you should be already in this empress in this nine of nine of cups like my wishes are granted i enjoy my life i i love everything i have in my life and i have everything what i love so yeah you should just stay in this energy and you are projecting um, like you are creating this situation with your energy, with your emotions. Stay friendly, stay cool, 
enjoy life, enjoy everything, not only this person. But yeah, this decision here, it's it's a question of a of a huge stress and tension. With your per like rather it's like your person who's like it's not yet set in stone, but you should know that that's why you're being informed. It's like a bit yeah, if you have like a pause in your yeah, right now in the relationship. Maybe you have met this person already. Maybe you have recognized them and it's like been so slow with them, yeah. So this is maybe like tarot likes to show the story in like different dimensions, like first future after past after now, like because I see this in a bit of inconsistency uh, or I just don't get it properly in this spread. So uh, maybe we're just shown like what is going on now. This is like a lot of um, temptation and repressed emotions and a lot of stress and burden, like tension within this person, I feel like about this situation, the outcome. So they have to have to make a decision and you should not be worried about it. If, if the change in 5D the plan in 5d changes like and maybe this person is not able to pass their lessons okay there's some ten of cups oh my god so perfect if this person is not able to uh, be your counterpart in this 3d reality so don't worry you will have them exchange for someone someone else from your soul tribe so don't worry you will be happy you will get your ten of cups your empress with this person or not so you should also relieve this burden not stress at all so whenever it comes, like you, you know that you will be happy. Does it matter much with this person or with someone else? Yeah. So it's like this duality here is still an outcome. So we're gonna finish dwelling on this outcome. Seems like the universe doesn't really want to show us. I can like double check it a bit with my Ichin of love. The outcome awareness exactly you should be aware you should enjoy the ride the the wayfair the travel liberation yeah obsession and greed yeah it's like just they're not gonna tell us because you are not supposed to know yeah or maybe that i don't know what there's like this maybe you're doubting maybe you have two people like this and you don't know which one and this <laughs> okay this is why but if they're not telling if the tarot doesn't tell us something we are not meant to know that because we're gonna as I say, spoil the surprise. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's leave this out since they, they don't want us to know, definitely. I mean, there's like this long-term commitment. So anyway, you're coming to a long-term commitment to your Ten of Cups. What will you learn? Ten of Cups. So maybe there's certain duality because, well, that's a general reading. You cannot uh, answer all the questions of all the viewers. But anyway, so um, there might be like a First of all, you should get detached. They should get detached like, and make this decision from their heart and you also. And uh, it's like about you really being happy. You will learn how to be happy. For someone, like maybe uh, this duality is coming from a place that for some of you, there will be this person. And it's like also about your spiritual lesson whether you will be able to learn despite all the obstacles all the like i don't know who's here like queen of swords be still happy with this ten, this ten of cups or maybe you will you know learn something to understand something about your concept of happiness family life for example you will meet another person who will comply to all all your demands <laughs> okay well that sounded so so bad <laughs> so not consensual <laughs> okay uh, this was the outcome, right? How it will ultimately affect you? Ah, yeah, wait, it was advice. No, what will you learn? Okay, the priest. Ah, okay, wait a second. Your advice. Yeah, so this was advice, sorry. Ten of Cups. Well, just enjoy it. Doesn't matter for how long this is. Just enjoy this Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, just pretend like uh, this is your person and you're already happy. Don't wait, don't delay your life. This Ten of Cups. Have your Ten of Cups now with this person. Doesn't matter. It means it's it's about not really investing like, yeah, and I'm going to start investing in the wrong person. No, just enjoy the emotional part. Feel the emotions. Well, this is like, what will you, will you learn? Oh, intuition. Definitely intuition. Listen to your inner voice to make the decisions. To know what I actually want. Okay. Or maybe there will be like checks. Maybe you suspected something that would, would, what was named here in this reading. And like, this is like a check. You will learn to listen to your intuition to understand messages of your intuition better. 
and how it will ultimately affect you well six of pentacles ultimately it will help you <laughs> it will really help you so there is something about cooperation and help and um, like this healthy exchange healthy exchange yeah for i feel like yeah this relationship for some of you this is like this the one the ten of cups the empress long-term commitment but for some of you this person will be like a precursor like beginning like this lesson how you will like with this person feel this this happy energy and after you will not doubt it like in meeting next person you will like enter the relationship without any doubts on subconscious level and you will not attract any suspicious stuff here okay so i see that there's like a lot of swords sword here she has a sword everyone has something to say Ace of Swords, some information, some communication, some realizations are really coming soon for you. The Magician. Seven of Wands and Nine of Cups. Please, guys, don't uh, let yourself go into negative emotions. Like, fight for your positivity. Just pretend, like, for, for a while, ignore 3D reality, really. Yeah seven of cups and here's like always down there five of cups so like don't give give in to this this is your test now this is your spiritual lesson not to give in to this uh, frustrated disappointed energy okay let's add some more details hmm. I'm thinking what i want to use which deck How will ultimately affect this faith exactly giving you faith faith in humanity restored energy like this i feel okay what will you learn let's add some more cards for this high priestess the way the way the path i saw here something about the way just enjoy the ride. There's this more Shiba old song. Just enjoy the ride. Friendship. Well, there is pretty cohesion, friendship. There's pretty like love energy in any case, in any scenario which could happen. Like for some of you, you can like not be anymore in romantic relationship with this person, but you still share this this mutual love. It's something something very special. Yeah, because I feel like for some of you, I don't know why is this called like a major, well, maybe not long term, but major, it will be a major point in your life, this this relationship here. But for some of you, it's not going to be long, actually, but it's going to like really prepare you for the next one. You will really know how to, in this Tao way, this Eastern philosophy way, to enjoy the ride. Okay. What else? What else we can add? Thinking the obstacles, maybe obstacles. No, fullness. Obstacles. Fullness. Deception. Waiting. Yeah, there might be something. This third party. Maybe they didn't tell you they had someone, or yes, yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Okay. The outcome. Let's go for the outcome liberation what no in love but happiness to love i don't know it's like it feels like some kind of tester version of your future relationship but somehow we we've been showed with it as important relationship happiness to love or maybe there's going to be like the liberation of your this feeling like okay love is not for me and understanding that happiness is to love actively love it's not about searching who will love us but about loving okay the outcome mercury messages okay some messages are really coming transit the situation is in transit right now so it's like we don't we cannot and we shouldn't really dwell on this oh god i 
I already forgot that the cards didn't want to show us and I'm like doing it again. <laughs> All right, the moon, exactly the moon. Satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. And also it's like a veil of mystery. Something is going on in the darkness. You shouldn't look there yet. And Chiron, hurt and heal. Something is being healed. You will receive the messages. You will, yeah, something is, has been, yeah, it's being healed. Four of swords here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. It's a very interesting, very, hmm, like not so like single-minded energy here. All right, so I hope to see you again on my channel. I think I'm going to do another one. Now I have another idea, a road to closure, because I think in the previous videos I felt like some viewers really need to close something with certain person, certain. Here also there's like certain like closure also needed. Okay, guys, so yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. I'm really excited about this reading. Your next significant relationship. Let's see. I even have a star here. <clears throat> and the Hierophant. Oh, my God. And the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my God. That's cool. So yeah, you chose Capricorn. You might be very, um, you might be actually a Capricorn. Capricorn Sun or Capricorn Moon or Capricorn Venus like me, for example. Okay. King of Cups. King of Cups. I mean, is this my first question? What are they like? Or is it something about you guys? It's like you are, or maybe if you chose this Capricorn, it's about Capricorns. You look at this guy here. Mm, how he looks very composed from the outside, but he contains this stormy ocean inside of him. Mm -hmm. Even the sharks. Well, okay, so it's like having a lot of emotions, but they are repressed and you're not showing them outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, something Capricorn-y about you, or you're very goal-oriented, mm, the achiever. Okay, so what are they like? Your next significant relationship. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like this, not to spoil the surprise for us. How you will meet with this person. Your first impression of them. How they will affect you. Somehow I wanted two of these. What kind of relationship it will be. Any obstacles, if there are some, the outcome, how will this relationship and this person ultimately affect you? Oh, wow, I don't know why so many, maybe because this deck is super slippery, but let's just keep all of them. <laughs> and what you will learn from this relationship, from this person. Okay, here's the bottom of the deck. Energy is nine of pentacles. It's so beautiful in this deck. Beautiful, independent, self-sufficient, successful person here watching. Well, definitely with the Capricorn energy. Maybe you are young, but you're already uh, very well established socially. And Capricorn, it's like he's about material, but not like the Taurus. Taurus, it's love. I have <laughs> ascended in Taurus. Taurus is about like luxury, richness. But Capricorn is more about... And yeah, Taurus about comfort, like tasty food, everything is cool. I love it. Um, Capricorn here is more like restricted. They're not for after luxury. They're about statues and influence. So these guys are those who are doing their career. And you will not visually see that they are rich or successful or something. So they're <clears throat> a bit different in this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. What are they like? And we're going to add many more cards from different decks, especially the astrological. I will use like all my astro decks, star codes, astro oracle, and the heavenly bodies. This one. Ten of Wands. Okay. Um, 
<clears throat> this person is like definitely from the world of business because they're overloaded, they're stressed, or maybe they're loaded with the responsibilities, with something. Maybe you will meet them at the moment of their life when they're going to be carrying too many responsibilities, too many stressed out. Okay. Not the best, best of news. <laughs> Pis okay, Pisces, Saturn. Hmm. There's something either now going on or when you're gonna meet each other. Change, yeah, exactly. Change, rebirth, sustainability. Yeah, the sixth house. This person is might be a workaholic actually, and Saturn, who is the ruler of um, Capricorn structure. Yeah. Well, you know what? This person is really like overburdened with duties. Hopefully it's going to heal because here we have the first card from Astro, the star codes, sorry. Chiron, heal, healing. I felt like this is connected with you somehow. Either you meeting them or like even now, if you're meeting each other much later, like at this moment, somehow you're going through your healing and your counterpart is going through their healing. But yeah, this like workaholic energy, like everything structured, a plan, like many stuff uh, to do in their schedule. This might be like their <laughs> like forever energy. Pisces and Hiron, there's yeah, healing and sensitive. Sensitize Pisces. Yeah, it feels like they're going through this. I have this feeling that we together with your connection, with you coming in their life, they become more sensitive and um, they go through healing. But it might be right now, actually. Collaborate. Okay. Thanks to other people. Okay, let's add some more details to their personality. What are they like? Libra. And you know what what also I thought like just just right now I had this in mind that they are um, somehow I don't know I know it's Libra here but somehow I feel this Virgo maybe with the sixth house energy. They are the person who uh, can easily let um, other people like friends, family, partners overload them. So they are, it's their like pleasure. They feel it's their duty to take the burden of the loved ones you see here's this burden is made of flowers and make it their own so there's like mm, they're this giver but maybe they're compensating something actually and this libra energy made me think about mm, you know like balancing like a wrong balance a bit so they're trying to do always more this might be something you will notice, like they're trying too hard. There is something like tensed about them. Actually, this ten of wands energy, this like tension, this like uh, something like um, very like serious and determined and passionate about a person. Um, I saw it with the 10th house, which is the Capricorn house, the house of career of goals. When it's filled with planets, it's like too many energy in the goals house so it's like this creates this tension so yeah so they are also very cap capricorn <laughs> yeah a consideration fairness and harmony okay so this is a person who i think uh, um, connections with people um being fair being in like some kind of um, collaborations with with people helping each other is very important for them so they're like people's person they might have many friends and exactly they can like load themselves with burdens of other people but uh if you would try i think like there this might be like a problem or something for you guys that you will whenever you will try to lighten their burden they will like they will not be able to accept it this this might be their problem earth yeah very earthy planet uh planet person <laughs> Persistence, patience, and practicality. Yeah, very earthy. But yeah, they have this hidden emotional part, the moon. Satisfy emotional needs. Yeah, this person, I feel like they, again, Capricorn, two Capricorns we have here. You and, or maybe you chose the person, like the type of, of person you liked. Yeah, I forgot to tell this in the beginning. You can also choose it this way. Ambition, realism, and methodical steps. Satisfy emotional needs, nurture yourself and others. I feel like their emotional needs right now are not really satisfied. They, that's why this 10 of wands, the stressed energy is coming from. 
Okay, what else? What else can we ask about them? Okay, let's use this Queen of the Moon Oracle. Something about them. What are they like? Protection. Oh, okay, very protective. Very protective of their person, of their family, of their friends. Oh, everyone. Like, they're super, super protective. It's like father or mother archetype, this person. Another card. Wow. This is actually, this is symbol on here. Um, it's a very interesting, you know, it's like not tarot, not really an oracle. Oh, wow, the lovers here. I don't already remember all the cards. I love they don't have a number sign, but I think this is like a real love story or something. There's like, yeah, lover's card. The, okay, so this is like a perfect match for you. And this card is symbol on, it's like, coming to um, this word symbol and means that, um like in ancient times people when they were leaving like imagine ancient greece or somewhere they would like break one like kind of a clay plate a uh, little small one to kind of put it together like after 30 years of separation or something and understand that they're like this person their family and like whatever so this person for you is like this missing missing piece you know the symbol on you kind of you will instantly memorize them that this this is your love from previous lives from future lives this is like real 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 love relationship it's like there's something concealed about it so it's like maybe you guys are such a person that you don't want your and like them also they hiding their inner world um, there's something about like we don't want to show the world ourselves it's only our secret well oh there's like some secret society energy here. Yeah, well, definitely there's like this perfect couples, two cards of perfect couple. What are they like? Exactly as you expect, exactly as you want them to be, like the perfect partner. Protection, yeah. And even if it's a man, it, there's like, like kind of a bit of like motherly energy. And they will also have a lot of transformations straight after you meet, guys. Hopefully it's not going to create any, you know, the separation, this twin flame thing and whatever. <laughs> oh, I don't like twin flames. So yeah, the theory, I mean. So yeah, how you will meet. Oh, the hanged man. Something beyond your control. Okay. Well, uh, the hanged man. It gives me the feeling that you have already met. <laughs> okay, let's just clarify a bit you have already met because the hangman it's surrendering your personal will like giving your willpower to the universe accepting whatever will happen to you and also it's like the stalemate the periods of stagnation of non-action so this might mean that you kind of know this person but there's this stagnation still between you and maybe actually yeah this like this so you're not in relationship right now. Yeah, Page of Cups. But there's this, because I feel like th there will be a lot of, or oh, they're already happening, this transformation processes. So you know this person already. Maybe you think about the wrong person, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure of that, but we're going to see if it's the person you think or it's someone else. Okay, both showed me something weird. Okay, maybe we shouldn't just try to guess it. Some, some information should be remained unsaid i think so yeah th there might might be this stagnation period between you or maybe you feel like you have already let go of this person in situation you don't know that they are coming back into your life because there's something like about releasing letting go or stagnation or looking from the other perspective so like now you're just completely not seeing this person as a possibility like hey this is gonna be my next partner really no no way okay your first impression of them king of wands and this is in this deck we have kings as feminine and masculine this is the masculine this is the the guy okay this is the lady emperor the guy king of wands okay so this is like a man most probably but not in all the cases maybe for someone it's a lady but just very dynamic fire sign for example Aries, leo sagittarius for example but not obligatory so yeah 
a very passionate, very impulsive, maybe impatient, intolerant to some stuff person. Slightly like they can be very domineering, like they are not noticing themselves when they dominating people, for example. So they can be a bit like sometimes a bit, a little bit repressive, <laughs> hopefully not, not too much. Okay, so very passionate, creative. It might be an artist or it may be like a public persona. There's like, you know, this energy, like electricity coming from them. Look, look this guy is like playing this this drum and like sets it on fire. They set on fire everything they touch. Okay, well, maybe the Midas touch would be better, but <laughs> setting on fire everything they touch sounded so bad. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Most probably, yeah, that's why we see, like, what what are they like? And now they're stressed out mm -hmm. because of some feelings, because, okay. Someone fell in love with their counterpart, Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands is also, this is like the feminine King of Pentacles, is also very independent and successful. Yeah, you guys, Capricorn, you chose Capricorn, of course. Hmm. How will they affect you? The two cards we have here. Four of Wands and Seven of Wands. Okay, and I don't know which one, which one like comes first, which one the second. Okay, uh, exactly. There's like this, and this hangman gives the energy, this duality. Like first you perceive them like this, after like the opposite, maybe again as the opposite to the opposite. Like something is very mixed here. Uh, so yeah, four of wands will be, yeah, this is my counterpart, part. we are together, we are in relationship, but seven of wands might be, look at this here, um, like, you see this lady beating this guy here, <laughs> so, and love, love is here, tattooed on this guy, so yeah, one day you love them, one day you hate them, so there might be this conflict energy, it's not really like, there are two waves of uh, how they, ah, it, somehow I, how they, Somehow I started talking like how you perceive them, how they affect you. Yeah, so they want um, their energy affects them, like lures you into into the union. You feel like yeah, we are the same with you. Yeah, soul tribe. And another day you wanna like fight them, so they're like have this bit aggressive, dominant. Yeah, a bit repressive. Yeah, we were talking about this repressive, oppressive, slightly king of wands. So yeah, there's two ways of affecting you. Okay. What kind of relationship will it be? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ten of Swords, come on. So what's this major relationship here? Wait, Ten of Swords, there's going to be no relationship, but why is this? Well, maybe this is like major somehow if the cards are showing us this on major relationship. It's either uh, like Ten of Swords, maybe, well, you need, to, if you know this person, there was, yeah, Ace of Pentacles here. If you know this person and now that there's this stagnation stage of like when you think, yeah, there's some more and I know it's definitely not my next relationship. So maybe this stage of something like conflict or whatever happened first must end. What kind of relationship? Okay, knight. Why Ten of Cups was here. King of Cups, Five of Wands. Yeah, okay. This person here, they're having a lot of repressed emotions as we realized that and he was this guy was jumping out like you see because you know this person there's conflict um conflict energy and um this king of wands type of person uh, they're very dominant and here we have this lady like playing the chess here with these gentlemen some ladies so they feel threatened sometimes by you like uh, who's gonna like their ego feels threatened so well guys so that's why so far uh, this person needs to like reveal their feelings i believe or at least have a notion um realize their feelings what they have inside so there's like they're having this major um emotional awakening lesson here and so far i see before they make a step towards you oh, they pass this lesson they're there might be no relationship, basically, Ten of Swords. So this old cycle, old situation needs to be closed, first of all, and after. And yeah, this a lot of tens, and this this is like a very 
stressed inform- um, energy of like lust drop, you know, like lust drop. But next card is nine of cups, five of pentacles, okay. No, so far this decision is not ready. They, they are like not really ready to collaborate or something, the tower. Okay, let's see next what we have. So far this is like not very, I'm gonna add some more details there, but not very hmm, inspiring for me. Obstacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is the obstacle, really. Okay, this is outcome. <laughs> okay, so far no outcome. Two of Swords. Well, of course, um, when I read cards, I, I have a tendency to attract such complex situations that you cannot have like yes and no and like in one card. Of course, right. Mm. Ah, okay, this is what what you will learn okay what you will learn and advice yeah i forgot the advice card for you guys okay somehow i feel guys for a lot of you this this relationship it's like this next major relationship it's like this person you, you either just separated from them there's like a chance but this is like so you have this choice you know this what is the outcome two of swords it's taking the decision so really for some of you it's either x okay i'm sorry to <laughs> to do that predict the comeback of, of an x oh no but yeah for for some of you it's really an x because it's like this stagnation now so you know this person of course you know that they're stressed out you know why you know that they're like you have a feeling like yeah we are the match but sometimes you hate them <laughs> and vice versa and you feel attacked sometimes by them so yeah it's like this your decision the advice is three of cups <laughs> take it easy but three of cups is also not get too fixed on this person just go get a company go out have fun with people that's it yeah so there's like that's why i think because either or this person you just knew them and you know they are not your ex but they are someone from the past and you don't expect that something's gonna happen with them yeah, but this is like really what kind of relationship. It's like really, it's either totally the end. I think it's your decision. It's like someone who's already there, but you can have this person, I think, or you can have some someone else. King of another king of wands, but this is like a feminine king of wands. Well, that makes sense. If you're bisexual, you can have uh, with with some lady also a relationship, right? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, nine of cups. This is very... Why are they showing the next major relationship as this? <laughs> I don't know. The advice, take it easy. Go enjoy company. Yeah, the outcome, two of swords. Why is that two of swords? Of, of course, okay. Yeah. Because a lot of, st of stuff depends not only on you. You have this magician power, both of you. This is, And I see that you are like more powerful in this relationship maybe that's why they're like this power struggles because this is the feminine emperor like the most powerful card in the deck the magician and the king of cups so both of you have this right of manifesting this relationship taking a decision and yeah and like right now it's a surprise it's about this past person it's like someone whom you knew or your ex or someone yeah, but I feel like maybe you should just uh, choose another pile also because I feel like you have another option. And like with this person, it's like there's a lot going on inside of them now, inside of their emotions. And this is like crucial for this. Basically, this outcome so far is blocked because it's not depending on you only. Well, no, no relationship depends only on one person, of course, but... Huh. But should you have like some, should you like try to manifest something here? Okay, no, stick to your reality. No, guys, stick to your reality. You can only dream about something with your perfect person, like your inner partner or someone. Don't include this specific person in the manifestation. Just let it flow, let it be and see what they have to do. Yeah, it's like some kind of, yeah, there are lesson with the emotions, yeah, transformation. So, yeah, guys, if there something happened here, it's definitely not your business to fix it. 
I feel like it's it's theirs. But yeah, there there can be this revival of this relationship. So this, this relationship can be like either just you can finish it finally, or nine of cups, pretty happy, pretty satisfying, but nine of cups and ten of cups, it's a huge difference depending on what you expect, because both give a lot of pleasures, but Ten of Cups would be like a more standard, committed, and like family type type of energy, while Nine of Cups, it's a lot of pleasures. But yeah, guys, I think yeah, there's something definitely about uh, what is the obstacle Ten of Pentacles, talking about committed energy. Um, I don't know what to say, but I have a feeling like you have... This ten of con cup, um, cups, <laughs> pentacles, maybe cups also. Energy somewhere else with someone else. And this is the obstacle for this relationship. Or actually, this relationship is the obstacle for you. Ten of pentacles, it feels like. The outcome. I don't know, guys. Or you're either like, why is this put here as um, your next major re relationship. Maybe you're like choosing and you have like really uh, bad feelings about someone. And this is like what the, the cards show you like, yeah, that's why you're doubting because there's gonna be no basically outcome. What kind of relationship, 10 of swords? Will it be like complete disaster? Oh God, yeah. So maybe it's just to discourage you. The cards are trying to discourage you from choosing some person you have in mind. Skin of Wands guy this stressed out person <laughs> because they're like yeah they they try to lighten the burden of others but it's we are not talking about emotional so they can be very difficult to deal with emotionally like this emotional wor world does not exist for them and there there's like this question like so are you still up to this like contract <laughs> soul contract with this person or you want to ch change it Okay, so this was the outcome, how how it will ultimately affect you. Okay, so hmm, feels like it will make you more ready to a new future. Leap of faith, faith, yeah, new start. Yeah, like you're starting something new. Wheel of fortune. Some gift of destiny. New beginnings of following your dreams it's really consistent so i see that this is a good influence i don't know what's that maybe this is like the analysis of the relationship which is already going on in your life so somehow i don't know sometimes my cards are being very tricky and but they deliver the exact information you need but uh leave me confused because i don't know like why am i asking one thing and you tell me something else okay um, basically, this relate like this person will affect you in a positive way, but it feels like, you know what? If if you kind of like you know, have one date with them, I mean, advice. What to do with this connection? I don't know. Because I strongly I have this strong urge to tell you like no, this is not your. But don't choose this. You know, don't choose this because it will. Yeah, the the hermit here because there's this in obstacles, Ten of Pentacles, it shows me this choice. Will you choose your Ten of Pentacles or this this weird story? Basically, what you will learn, Five of Cups. And I think like this, how it will ultimately affect you. That's enough of this notion or this... Um, what kind of interaction did you have? Like maybe you, you weren't in a relationship, like officially, so and you don't need it. So basically... <laughs> Maybe this person is supposed to make you motivated to start a new journey, like just to follow something new. Maybe because they will piss you off so much <laughs> that you will just jump into something new. Five of Cups, what will you learn? So this is about this person. It's like, I don't know. I feel like the cards want to tell us the fu story of the future for you to see that you're not losing anything. Because I think like, think like they're first this ten of cup, uh, ten of swords here, what kind of relationship will it be? No, it's not going to be a relationship at all. It's like something you really need needed to hear, but it's <laughs> it's not corresponding to the topic of my reading, actually. Yeah, the advice, like, I mean, the judgment, it's like, take the final decision and yeah, I mean, what should you do with the relationship? Four of cup this one four of cups nothing this reading is some kind of warning honestly so let's see the outcome maybe capricorn ambition realism and methodical steps the outcome 
radically change. Yeah, exactly. This feels like... I don't know why. Uh, maybe because you exactly think about this person as your partner, but it's going to be radically changing. And there's going to be this. The obstacle is Ten of Pentacles. Another person coming and offering this. <laughs> okay. This is very good news, but let's see. Earth. Resistance, patience, and practicality. So somehow this person positively, and yeah, here we have this Knight of Pentacles positively influencing you. But may, you know what? Maybe you felt attracted towards them like romantically, but you were not supposed to. Maybe they had to influence you only like in professional way, like guide you somehow, maybe unknowingly for themselves. Yeah. What kind of relationship will it be like? What's that? Okay. <laughs> this card is the debilitated. It's like, for example, Mars and Libra. Ah, but wait, but do they have actually exalted and... What's the other one? I don't know. Discomfort, guys, discomfort. Okay, there's like something warning that this... Investigate. This is not your relationship, but somehow it's in your... Yeah, it's some kind of warning. Maybe because you're super into someone now and the cards are like yeah okay we're gonna show you the future yeah let's see relationship release what kind of relationship release release this relationship <laughs> release and realization yeah there's something very professional someone maybe they this person had to i don't know like fall in love with you and help you somehow professionally this was the only thing to make them do that but yeah like i don't see it as a relationship where you should go into this relationship okay another piece of advice advice let's just focus on advice because i don't know what to obsession and greed okay maybe it's about them that they are like being obsessed because this is with ten of wands really uh, or you shouldn't be obsessed about this very person you see that the cards are showing like not really cool future so maybe you should just detach and be more open-minded about someone new coming fear of love okay fear of love identifications exactly identifications i love it at uh, this i'm gonna just read you the little piece from booklet you you have to see see it on with your own eyes definitely let's see 60 second hexagram the oracle warns, be careful of the identifications. Of course, love opens to an unparalleled fullness and bliss. But if you identify that fullness with a person, exactly identifying it with, with the exact person, there's like this counterpart thing. They're king of wands, you're queen of wands. So there's something like that. It's like a wrong assumption here. Yeah, if you identify that fullness with a person, you open yourself to immense spaces of pain and misfortune, forcing oneself and the other to a very heavy slavery of de or dependence. Okay, fear of love. Okay, guys, but this is advice for you. Um, aren't you fearing, fearing love? Aren't you afraid of love? So that's why this situation is going on. Okay, and the last piece of advice for you. Time for healing, definitely time for healing. A new start is coming. Yeah, time to release negativity, exactly. Release, there's this transformation. So you guys, I feel like this the person you have in mind now, watching like about the, your thinking, like sh shall we be in relationship or not? Like you kind of feel like they're bad for you, but you cannot like stop. You don't let yourself dream of something better for you. So yeah, this means like you need to cleanse your energies. You need to heal something within yourself, maybe fear of love. Okay, thank you guys for staying here. Sorry for the, this message being a bit um, tough and heavy, but I think that uh, all the information is always coming at the right time when we are ready and most open to perceive it. So hopefully it was helpful. Thank you for staying here with me. Um, come see me again. You can subscribe to my channel. I will be very grateful. Enter the family, please. So yeah, have a great night or have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, my dear pile number three. Welcome to your reading. I'm super excited about this reading. Your next significant relationship. 
let's see for some other piles the spirit was pretty tricky so i'm asking one thing like she was the relationship and we see a bit different but hopefully that information was right on time there were certain healing messages so yeah let's see for pile number three what do you have this is dreams of gaia tarot you chose this beautiful Taurus. Actually, in the beginning, I forgot to tell you, but hopefully you just made your mind yourself. So you could choose like either your signifying energy with this card or like your person, like your expected type, for example. There was, who was there? Aquarius, I believe, Capricorn and Taurus. So de depending on what kind of person you're attracted to. Okay, so with this Taurus here, ruled by Venus very sensual energy let's see what is your next significant relationship will be like what they are like how will you meet your first impression of them how they will affect you What kind of relationship will it be? The obstacles, if there are some. The outcome. How it will ultimately affect you. What will you learn? And a piece of advice from the spirit. Okay, and let's start. Wow, the, there's the father here. Okay. For those of you who are ladies, identified yourself with the feminine. Oh my God, king of earth, the father, love. Look at this here. Stability with four of pentacles, four of earth. Oh my God, six of cups. This is like queen of earth. Oh my God, definitely. Oh, there's some committed energy coming. And yeah. King of Earth, Taurus, might be Taurus. So what are they like? <laughs> okay, King of Earth or, and King of Fire. But they are, they are most probably just a very multifaceted personality. Okay, so this is very passionate, artistic, impulsive, um, sexy person, fiery. So there, they have a lot of energy. Well, there is a dark side, so they might get angry and like, you know, yelling around, but in five minutes they will be okay. Let's just add some more energies from different decks. This is the Star Codes Astro Oracle. Okay, Ceres. This is the um, how is it called? God, asteroid, nurture. This is the Demeter. Ceres is the Roman equivalent of Demeter motherly energy actually this is very taurus energy taurian energy nurture so this is a nor nurture this is very mm, passionate nurture so this is someone with okay passionate nurture is vesta her hearth yeah because there's certain fire kin of fire yeah this is a very family oriented person this is someone who will want kids they oh my god you're you're gonna and okay this is a child arcana here i see already the child see child this is someone who wants children, definitely. Conjunction, alliance, yes, this this is like, whoa. This is like the ultimate long-term long commitment union for you guys, this one. Whoa, okay. That's why I love this deck, Dreams of Gaia, so much. Okay, let's add some more details. I have like already three astro decks now, I need to stop with them. I mean, I know that they're all, all the same, but somehow I really love reading with astrology cards and like using the astrology terms, terminology, but, but like shuffle, <laughs> but like shuffle them. Have this choice. Okay. Something about them. What are they like? Something else, please. Areas. Okay, this does not have to be like their sign or something, but this is something about them. Independent, brave, and passionate. 
yes, independent, brave, and passionate. But yeah, they can be like Aries, Taurus, somewhere like, you know, some planets, it uh, doesn't matter which, uh, which sign the sun is. So it's like usually there's this switch, like some Taurus suns, they, they can have Venus in Aries and like vice versa, and, you know, because they're next to each other. So there's going to be this mix of Aries and Taurus. Very caring, but still very like passionate and warrior-like. Okay, fixed stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. Oh my God! Like you, pile number three got won a jackpot here. Mars, yeah, Mars energy. Okay, moving forward, depending selves. This is like per person with a cool combination, cool balance of feminine and masculine energies. Like feels like they have the best of of uh, of all. Hmm. Okay, how will you meet? Okay, uh, this this deck is very special. It's like this tarot, tarot oracle. You know, not not like real, uh, not like the classical system. So this is like eight of water, but in this deck, it's like rather representing like uh, gratefulness. I think energy of gratefulness, letting go with gratefulness. Eight of eight of cups. Okay, eight of water. Maybe this means when you let go with gratefulness, all your past experiences. So this is how you meet. I feel like something really unexpected. So it's not not expected. Maybe you're like going, um, you know, you didn't wash your hair in the morning. You went to do groceries, and here you meet the man of your dreams <laughs> in the in the gross grocery shop around the corner. The journey, yeah. Or you're like yeah, traveling, healing journey, journey and healing. How are you gonna meet? journey and healing yeah there's something depending on this healing letting go of of the past first of all but it might be like really like taking a trip somewhere while traveling or while commuting like you're taking plane a flight somewhere yeah it's like actually yeah maybe like airport because eight of cups like leaving where people are leaving yeah right like or leaving for some vacation to reset recharge your batteries yeah leaving like maybe definitely place where a lot of people leaving like oh my god how it's called like um Bahnhof the uh, train station airport like some of these places or traveling while traveling okay your first impression of them nine of cups nine of water wow emotional enlightenment this card look at this third eye here so i i hope that actually it's not super blinky this yeah you know this this round circle lamp everyone has it and everyone has this reflection here <laughs> okay so yeah a very happy self-sufficient emotionally person it's like there's something enlightened something very like easygoing and childish about them like they're happy they're just happy being themselves and with themselves but it's like also this like look how this card looks it's like the angel is coming from the sky to you no i mean really these guys are it's like a match made in heaven here. No, really, it's like, well, let's let's just see how they will affect you. Okay, five of cups. I start not liking this. What kind of relationship it will be? Five of cups? Why are they affecting you this way? What's wrong? What's up with you, Taurus guy? King of water? Yeah, what kind of relationship? King of water. Um, a loving relationship, defi definitely emotionally mature, but why is this masculine here? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna open everything and we will add some more details. Obstacles, obstacles, faith. <laughs> faith is the obstacle. What you don't believe that you deserve it, or they don't believe they deserve it. The outcome, the counselor, <laughs> the counselor. <laughs> You need to turn to the counselor. No, this is the the knight of knight of cups. So this is yeah, romantic, romantic love, but also healing. Yeah, I mean this this is gonna be very healing. This is all the cups energy here, all the cups. Let's see next. How will it ultimately affect? Un unfucking believable. What? This is like ten of cups and ten of pentacles together. What? Ten of water and ten. Oh my god. This is like really this, the relationship, the love, 
Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, guys. This is like the most full realization of emotional potential together with material and financial. This is uh, family. The, the, we don't see any like family-like scenes like in Rider Waite, Classical Terror in here. But it's full harmony. Full harmony and full realization of your lo love life. I'm pretty sure with this person you were like for a long time. For a lifetime. Really. So, what will you learn? <laughs> Duality. White, black and white, look at this. Yeah, so that's why this person will take you to the highs of of love, of mutual care, but also they can really frustrate you. There's something you need to know. So, yeah, this person will frustrate you. They will accidentally hurt you, hurt your feelings, but still they will make you very happy. The advice, <laughs> the crone, the wise woman. This is like a hierophant, but, but a woman. I love it. Uh, the wise witch. And, you know, like, accepting all the life experiences, despite black or white they are. Wow, this is so deep here. That's why I love Dreams of Gaia Terror. Yeah, finally, I mean, finally it, it arrived to me <laughs> because it didn't have it with me for, for a long time. Oh, my God, I love it. Yeah, you're definitely meeting your future wife or husband, life partner. <clears throat> I just want to clarify some more things here. Um, like, what kind of relationship will it be? Why is it king of water here? Thought. Like, somehow it's, like, depending on this person, their ability to love, youth. Thought and youth. Thought and youth. Well, youth, it's like this feeling of, yeah, I have this emotional maturity, energy from king of water, but the youth, it's like being mature, we are repeating the experiences, like, I mean, feeling like I'm young again, yes, yeah, something like this, being like young again, but not doing stupid things things and just thinking before acting yeah this is a very mature and very loving relationship mm -hmm. queen of cups queen of king of water and like this person if you're feminine if you're this queen of cups and they're this king of cups it's like first of all this relationship is about a man who's deeply in love with you so first of all this is what about this relationship yeah uh, why is this like uh, five of cups why are they affecting you this way my god because you guys are so you're the same <laughs> you're some well yeah it's like you have also your negative maybe you are both stubborn for example god and this gives me definitely this twin flame vibe i, I mean i don't like of course you know maybe you know maybe you didn't notice union look at this union abundance knowledge destiny <laughs> crazy Oh, yeah, because it's so easy to confuse the twin flame relationship with this crazy dynamic separation stuff with some really bad person like narcissist, you know, a psychopath manipulator, that's why. But I feel like here it's really this this twin flame, like really counterpart, so let's call it soulmate, it doesn't matter, really. Well, uh, why are they affecting you like this? Because, I mean, guys, you still, uh, in this pile, uh, you you haven't met them yet. That's that's what's make you make you sad because you feel their presence in your life and they feel your presence in their life. Okay, try to take it wisely. Yeah, don't go into because it feels like you're being sad and you're like crying about not meeting yet this person. This is how they affect you and this is not the effect they want to have on you. So this is your advice, this crone, this wise woman, why wise old woman. She's not in the hurry anymore. Just imagine yourself make like a spontaneous meditation with this card. Oh put it here imagine that you're this this proud lady you lived your life you lived already this love story like imagine that you're in the end of this story what will you learn duality definitely there are lessons about duality about you guys being similar about that this Tao you know this Chinese philosophy the yin yang sign i don't know if i have it somewhere near no i don't but you know it it's like a bit of white in each black and a bit a bit of black black dot in this white piece 
there can be no good without evil. There can be no evil without good. This duality of people interactions. This is something you're going to learn, guys. Perfect balance. All right. What else? What else? So, yeah, the faith might be a problem. I will also use oracles for this healing. Yeah, healing of your... Yeah spiritual perception death and rebirth yeah abundant more abundant thinking it's like yeah it's the the ideas you have around love about the impossibility of meeting this person yeah because you're like in this five of cups this sad frustrated depressed energy about this and i feel in this pile you you haven't met this person and be careful because if you're gonna be like too attached this is this is abundance, but this is devil, 15th arcana here. So if you will be too obsessed with this story, with meeting them, and not starting living your life without them, you guys might, you know, skip this experience and not meet them at all. Okay, sorry for scaring you. What kind of relationship it will be? Whoa, sensitive, loving Pisces. Pisces and kin of water. Yes. Okay, and six of house, sustainability. Yeah, this is like for, for a long time. And on the everyday basis, you're basically like taking place of like in every sphere of your partner's life, guys. Okay, another. F fifth house. Yeah, so there is time to work and there is time to play. The fourth, the fourth, the fifth and the sixth house. Okay. I mean... It would be interesting to check out the synastries of those people and see if the, the <laughs> their, these houses in each other's chart are really filled with planets. That would be funny. Okay, passion, play, children, confidence and creativity. Cultural and family roots. Yeah, this is the family, definitely. Home, peace and comfort. Okay, now guys, try to detach from this fairy tale. Fairy tale-ish energy here. Because, you know, like being too much in this, you know, oh, of anticipation of something can actually push, push this away. So, yeah. Okay, what kind of relationship will it be? Family, like, do you see this? Family, family so many times. Here we had family, oh my god, I'm just going crazy, wait, it's children, it's fifth house. Family roots, oh my god. Family, family, family. Yeah, and here I saw this card, impotence and the obstacle. The impossibility of, yeah. That like you know that you know that this person is your future, but you like cannot. You feel like oh no, they are not together with me, so I'm not happy. Try as in law of attraction to ignore a little bit for a short period of time the 3D reality. Yeah, this hunger card here. Yeah, hungry for your person, hungry for your relationship, guys. It's granted for you, so you don't have to stress. You don't have to stress. It's coming at the right time. If it's not coming, this is not the right time. There will be a better time. Just relax. What kind of relationship? Growth. Yeah, you both will be growing power. Growing your power. Surrender. Yes, yeah, sur surrender to the changes. Okay. Ah, and I forgot to take this one here. Yeah, I have no space literally here. So decks are like just laying on top of each other. This was like... This is symbol on deck for your person. What what are they like? Oh no, oh, they're having some trouble. Mercury with broken leg. Some Mercury, which is like a movement. I forgot how this guy even called. This is Mercury, but something like. So they're being slowed down. They're very quick and active, being slowed down. Uh, okay, if if they really broke their leg <laughs> right now, and after you will know. Uh, please comment down below. <laughs> yeah, there's something. Uh, I feel like it's right now because I forgot to do it in the beginning. So yeah, this is like this person. Uh, maybe they're just, you know, got out some bad relationship. Really, this is like doom being doomed together. Look at this handcuffs here. And they're feeling damaged. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, look. Coming out of conflict energy into this is Symbolon card. Symbolon, it's like a little memo to, for after years of separation, to realize it's like a clay plate which was broken apart and they, like the pieces should match each other, you know, like this puzzle, like jigsaw puzzle. So it's like, yeah, meeting, they're ready 
due to some negative experiences with with in different relationship they are finally ready to meet their counterpart oh that's so cool oh my god this this spread is so magical really what else i wanted i wanted to clarify something else like yeah this like obstacles faith what's the obstacle and what maybe you could do because faith and healing of faith pluto transform your point of view of everything okay and taurus again trust patient patience and sensuality okay transform transform okay what should you do with this obstacle venus beloved trust your beloved leo shine okay what else let's see piece of advice bring love into situation yes 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 guys do some time to re release negativity yeah you were just picked up too much negativity maybe from them because you guys connected or something or this is your lesson to be more detached but still be in the state of unconditional love try to do some like or find yourself a music you know there's this music like eight hours for sleep like unconditional love energy so yeah or work with your fourth chakra anahata so you need to be in this love energy, release the negativity, transform you. There's like this disbelief. You don't believe this is possible in your life. You don't believe that you deserve it. Yeah, you, you think like you have to pay for everything. You just I don't deserve it. Oh, if I, if I will attract this happy story, I will have to lose something else, like something. Yeah, you don't feel like you're worth it or something like this. Okay, my dear, what else? we can do for you what else what else we can do for you let's just cleanse your space let's just dispel all your doubts with this wonderful tibetan bowl look at this i don't know if you can see it yeah this is this is flower of life this is sacred geometry okay so there's gonna be three loud sounds be careful if you're wearing headphones All right, pile number three. Thank you so much for being here with me, for letting to read your energy. This is a beautiful energy. I hope you guys are gonna meet your person soon. Don't stress about it. You will. Doesn't matter when. You will definitely enjoy it. So the best of luck for you. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.